We done with the 90s. Looks like that's the trend of the day in basketball Twitter, basketball TikTok, or wherever it may be, even here on basketball YouTube or NBA YouTube. Are we really done with the 90s or are we just not thinking about this in the right way? Now, it's really interesting. I feel like a majority of my videos that I come out with are more about the current NBA landscape. How are, how are people playing now? What's going on now? Is the game changing for the better or for the worse? But it's rarely about the past. And today, I think it's an interesting time to bring it up because of all this discourse that's going on. And, you know, sometimes it's hard to talk about the 90s versus now. It's almost it's almost as ridiculous as the LeBron versus Jordan debate. Now, at the end of the day, can you come up with a conclusion of your choice on how you feel about both? Obviously. It's not a big deal if you think one is better than the other or one one era or generation is better than the other. I believe that you can look at it different ways as well. Like for me, I look at LeBron James as maybe the best player of all time, the boat. And I look at Michael Jordan as the greatest player of all time, the GOAT. During his era, he dominated more than anybody else. And this is with the exception of the 70s, 60s. I'm just talking about like, in my humble opinion, for when basketball had evolved to the correct evolution that it should get to, Jordan probably dominated the best he could in his area in a bigger NBA. Now you can go back to Bill Russell, of course, but there was only a few teams back then. You can argue that as well if you'd like. But the point for me is, I think there's a big difference between greatness and better. I do think LeBron's a better basketball player overall. Now, he might not have the same chip on his shoulder. He might not have the same heart as him. He might not have the same killer mentality. So he's, you know, he's made it to the finals a lot more, but he's lost a lot more. So it happens, right? Like at the end of the day, I think LeBron's a better overall basketball player, longevity, different things, while Michael Jordan the greatness hasn't been topped yet, especially in the last 30, 40 years. The greatness just hasn't been topped. And it's not just about the number of rings. There's multiple factors. But it's the same thing with the 90s and now. Like, are we done with the 90s? Well, here's how the trend started is that a YouTuber, or sorry, a TikToker put out a video saying, I watched, you know, 90s basketball and I can't believe this was the game I'm watching. It was a Lakers-Bulls game or the NBA Finals. And was just, you know, essentially making fun of everything that was happening there. And now I get it. Listen, I'm a, I'm a millennial, so to say. And I get that the basketball quality when you watch, if an old person tells you is better quality in terms of like how good the players are, they're lying to you. Now, you might have a better overall quality if you believe right now that the NBA is becoming too three-point oriented or if you don't like how tic tac -y fouls are called. That's totally fine too. But better basketball players are now. And that applies to every single sport in the history of sports. And that's the point. We're not done with the 90s. Because if you're done with the 90s, one day you're going to be done with 2024 also. In 2060, you're going to look back and say, I'm done with those early 2000s. Those guys sucked. You know why? Because there's going to be more guys that look like Victor Wembenyama in Giannis. And they're going to be seven foot two, seven foot three, seven foot four. And they're going to be point guards and athletic and dunking on people. And their, their chests are going to be at the rim when they jump. That's not going to mean that LeBron sucks. That's not going to mean that Tim Duncan sucked or Kevin Garnett was ass or Tracy McGrady wasn't that good of a, 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 a scorer. It's not going to mean that Wow, Michael Jordan couldn't even play a minute in this league. That's not how it's going to work. And that's what we have to realize is that, yes, are the players better now? Absolutely. But they are in every sport through technology, through science, through evolution of the human being, through training, through more opportunities to learn the game of basketball, more coaches, more AAU programs, more training programs, more YouTube videos, more whatever you want to call it, better equipment. Every area in America has a better basketball hoop probably than they did before. Every park from good neighborhoods to bad neighborhoods, from poverty neighborhoods to high end neighborhoods, they will all probably have better hoops, better concrete, more available ways for somebody to go learn how to play basketball. And that's just the reality of sports. Now, yeah, 
as I keep saying, there are guys in the 90s that aren't as good as the guys now. And they wouldn't play in this NBA. But that doesn't take away from what they were at that time. So we're not done with the 90s. It's part of hoops. It's part of basketball. It's part of history. It's part of the, the times we lived in. You can argue they're not as good because they're not. That's just the truth. LeBron James is better than the guys that played in the 90s. Does that mean they don't matter? Absolutely not. Because one day there's going to be somebody that's much better than LeBron James. And one day in baseball, there's going to be a guy that's better than Shohei Otani. And in one day there might be a guy that's better than Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady. They might not be as great as them. The championships, the, the, the winning streaks, whatever it is. But they might be better at them at the sport. And they probably will. So don't be done with the 90s. Use this as a way to think critically that it's just all part of the game. It's all part of history. And this is how every sport works. There's no need to be done with the 90s. Because if that's how you think now, you're going to be done with the 2000s one day also. And I don't want that to happen in the game of basketball. We got to appreciate every era for what it has brought us. So go watch the 90s. Go watch my Seattle Supersonics play the Chicago Bulls. Unfortunately, lost to them. It would have been nice to, to rewatch that with the Seattle Sonics winning. It'd be nice to watch Sonics today if they existed, but they don't. It's fine. They're coming back. But go watch it. Enjoy it. Watch Gary Payton's defense. Go watch Sean Kemp's athleticism. Go watch Dennis Rodman and Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen and go enjoy it. Yeah, they're not as good as Joel Embiid and Jokic and and Steph Curry and LeBron James and Kevin Durant right now. But it's still good basketball, and it still means something to the history of the game. So, no, we are not done with the 90s. Get that out of your vocab.